Okay, this is the Hex uh, engine failure test number two. This time I'm gonna fail the uh, one of the lower motors, and uh, this is uh, one of those uh, airy moments where you're gonna see it spin like crazy. And that, I'm still controlling by one hand. This is just insane. I'm gonna add <laughs> move further away just in case it hurts me. Okay, fire the motor. Okay, just for you to see the um, lower motor of the uh, back engine. Okay, let's get it on. So, uh, it flies. I don't know. just except it's spinning like crazy. And uh, also the upper motor. Upper engine, upper motor, is, uh, sorry, the upper motor is uh, windmilling the lower motor. So in that case, I'm gonna land it is by turning the course, uh, the home lock direction, to make it fly directly back to the front. But uh, since it's actually close by, I'm not gonna land it. However, in terms of landing, this is gonna be difficult because uh, you don't. See I don't think there's a way to stop the spin, even with the uh, full rudder input to the left. You see, it may be slowing a little bit, but it's still uh, spin like crazy. So you have to be careful, very careful, especially if you're flying FPV in one of those situations. You might need to take up your bubbles uh, immediately. So in terms of landing, you just have to take a uh, Take it uh, easy and make sacrifices. Spin landing. <laughs> like this. Okay. I'm actually landing it. So, for those who are interested uh, with the hexacopter, uh, the uh, backup motor operations, uh, you might consider this uh, video useful. In my opinion, so they're only half redundant uh, with. Uh, the, uh, if the upper engine, one of the upper motors are failed, it flies alright, but uh, if one of the lower motors failed, it spins uh, like crazy. And uh, by the way, I'm using DJI uh, Wukong, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.